Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to graph the function f of x is equal to the square root of x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, and explain why it is 1 to 1, and then use a computer algebra system to find an explicit expression for the inverse of this function. So first of all, I've graphed the function, and we can see here that we know that it is 1 to 1 by using the horizontal line test. Right, so we have this function, and if we pass any horizontal line, which I'm going to represent with this pencil, through the function, there's only going to be one intersection point at the most. And right, if we're down here, then there's not going to be any intersection. But there's only one at most, therefore it is one-to-one, -one, and therefore it has a function. Sorry, it has an inverse function. The book is not going to ask you to find the inverse function of this because it's very, very difficult. If I see, put it into Wolf from Alpha right here. The inverse function of this particular function is given by this very long um, expression that we have right here. And we can see that if it is graphed in the xy plane with respect to the original function, we can see that they mirror each other over the line y equals x. And another um, part of this question right, is in a similar way to the last problem, it's asking us what are the limitations of technology in calculating inverse functions. And you'll actually notice that we are not given three separate functions. We are actually only given one. And this is reflective of increases and improvements in technology, where there is an ability of Wolfram Alpha in this case to give us only the proper um, function out of the three that it calculated in a way that might not have been possible when this book was written and this question was asked. So this very long expression, as it's given, is the inverse to this function, the square root of x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1, and we can see both of them graphed right here.